damn it. Hello, Holly. Whoa, what are you doing? You don't, uh, you don't have to do that. I mean, we have already put together chairs. That's how we buy them, actually. Oh, trying to adjust the lumbar support on Toby's chair, and that made this up-down lever thing not work, and then I took the whole chair apart, and that is the story of me on the floor. It's pretty good, right? I'm gonna sell the movie rights. And the sequel, woman stands at desk and works. So, I have no idea how you, how you sit like that. Yoga. Sit on floor and put together a chair, we will. <laughs> Yo, duh. Um. Pass curvy metal piece, you will. <laughs> so are you in town this weekend? Cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to be in town. Uh, going out of town. Oh, so you can't make my orgy? Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Acting. 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 <laughs> Love it. Yeah. I did it. What'd you do? I talked to her, Holly. <clears throat> Just pleasantries, nothing, you know, not like, do you want kids or religion or what side of the bed do you want? Hey, I can take either side of the bed at this point. Wow. Okay, so how'd that feel? It was hard. I yeah. wanted to kiss her. Oh, I'm so glad you didn't. <sighs> Lay in a base. Lay in a base. There you go. There's plenty of base lying left, right? <gasps> hey. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't sure you were going to come. Well, I got very curious when you only left me one voicemail message instead of your usual 20. I'm trying to be a little less intense and a little more considerate. Here, have a seat. But only if you want to. Okay. I want to. I never listened to what you wanted or how you wanted us to be when things ended between us. I just decided what I wanted, and I got upset when you didn't want the same thing. I know that's not fair, and I'm very sorry. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. If you don't want to have any more contact with me, I finally understand. I, I don't want that, really. But I just think it's for the best. OK. OK. There is another option. We could just say screw it and do this thing for real. What? I miss you like crazy. I think about you all the time. I want to be with you. So let's just say screw it. No, oh, we would have to tell Chris. Yeah. It could turn into a scandal. Yeah. It could hurt your campaign. I mean, yes. how, would, how would you imagine we do this? I don't know, but I... I know how I feel, and I want to be with you. But I'm done steamrolling people. This is how I feel. How do you feel? I got to hand it to you, Captain. That was some ceremony. It wasn't difficult. I simply said what I wish had been said when Kevin and I got married. And I never would have heard your hilarious efficient efficient quip. Mm, you're right. I regret nothing. But all this does make me think I might enjoy a more festive expression of our commitment to one another. Are you suggesting we hold an honest-to-goodness wedding? Nothing too elaborate. We're not the Kardashian Wests, after all. They are a musician and a celebrity personality who recently wedded. Yes, yes, I know. They were answers on Jeopardy. I think you mean questions. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fun. I don't want you to go back to London. Just remember, every time you look up at the moon, I, too, will be looking at a moon. Not the same moon, obviously, that's impossible. You gotta forget about all the other stuff. You gotta forget about logic and fear and doubt. 
You just gotta do everything you can to get to the one woman who's gonna make all this worth it. At the end of the day, you gotta jump. You love Angela, Dwight. I think you always have. You're a good assistant, Jim. Not as good as you. That's very true. Get the hell out of here. You got it. I was just um, checking out my presents. This is an amazing gift because it comes with bonus gifts. Look inside. That one. I really do. Oh, oh no! This is like the best present ever. Wow. Okay, wait. What is this? The mini golf pencil you threw at me. Like three years ago, <laughs> you saved this. <laughs> you watched it. Yeah. Well, then I guess you're ready for this. What's that? It's from the teapot. Everything you'll ever need to know is in that note. Not enough for me. You are everything. What's up? Hot diggity dog. Oh no! Now the thing I said right after we kissed will always be hot diggity dog. <laughs> Whatever. It was an honest reaction. I stand by it. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but you gotta calm the F train down. You're gonna ace this test. You think that because you love me and love has made you dumb. I disagree. If anything, love has made me smarter. Remember last week when I boiled that egg? That was big. I was really proud of you. Please save us from destruction. Thank you for this. We're gonna die. Dear Allah, in your infinite power, please save us from destruction. Thank you, Allah. Pull over! Why? Move to the side of the road! Why? And pull over! Why do you... Dwight! Dwight, what the f is your problem? Adams, woman, Who drives like me. that? I love you! And I don't care that Philip's not my son. I will raise a hundred children with a hundred of your lovers if it means I can be with you. Can you put that down? This expresses how loudly I love you. It's too loud. This is a ring taken from the buttocks of my grandmother, put there by the gangster patriarch of the Coors dynasty melted in a foundry run by Mennonites. Okay, yes, yes, I will! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> and I lied to you. What? Philip's your son. What? Why would you say that? I just needed you to want to marry me because you wanted to marry me. Get out! I'm a dad! You're a dad! <laughs>